Yo, yo, this is Ali Rashid, and this is Cannabis Reactions. We gonna be reacting to Benavidez calling out Demetrius Andre. You can like and subscribe. You can leave a comment. I, I'm, I'm open to everything. Let's get it. He ain't no Steve Rose, he ain't no Rocky Fielding, so Canelo, where your cojones at? Let's get it. Out though, Marano, Iguapo, your boy, it's me again, let's go. September. You have the final piece of the middleweight championship. Where they at? Where they at? Where is that? Canelo, let's go, man. Let's unify this division. Let's have one champion. It's right here. Let's do it. That's it. There's no more running, there's no more games. Let's put it all online and see who's the best. Mono e mono, cojones for cojones. Let's go. Viva la Mexico! Viva la Mexico! Like everybody wants to see me against Canelo, right? Yeah. 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 Y
And I ain't mad at that. It's, it's right that you want to clean your class up, 168. Canelo need to give up the belts if he ain't. I right, leave. Go up and fight whoever you're going to fight. Stop holding up shit. You holding up shit. Let these fighters become great, the ones that want to be great. By fighting whoever's singing, they, they great and the best in the champ. That's a champion. Just say you want to keep getting titles. You're doing it for the titles and the money. It's exactly what it is. It's a title. You created a title for your legacy. I can speak about Floyd. Floyd fought these young niggas. He ain't have to stick around to, to fight Earl and Terrence Crawford. Jump for what? I'm going to wipe out everybody that y'all seeing the best. And that's what he did. I'm going to wipe out everybody that y'all said was better than me. Shout out to Floyd. At least I was a, around the witness, greatness. And I'm talking about what he did for boxing. as a black nigga. Man, and shout out the cannabis reaction. But yeah, Benavidez, if you don't, if you ain't gonna have your hands up, you going you Boo Boo is a motherfucker. Everybody you a, a straightforward style, a person that could box and gifted with skills could easily be a matador. But a matador that's hitting hard and not throwing one at a time. You can't go into a fight. Cause I know how a lot of people think, man, I'm bigger than him. I'm bigger than him. I'm taller than him. And I know, I know, I know I'm stronger than him because I'm be coming up to my weight class. Nah, when you got them gifted, them gifted athletes and they just, they just train on conditioning and strengthening. An athlete like that, that could be on these toes, bouncing around throwing hard shots and then pushing you back because they got strong foundation. You can't play, you can't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit because boxing is not physics. Boxing is a whole different type of, yeah. So, you know, you got to be ready for a nigga like Andre. That's why Canelo don't want to fight. That's why the Charlos don't want to fight. People ain't even want to fight him when he was an amateur. Like, and let's, let's know that we, everybody, we know what goes on in boxing. See, what happens is... When you the best out there, you a dog. A dog is coming to sniff around, to go to the, who the best in the gym? And go to work. You 
know when you good, stop. Because you everywhere getting that, that, that real work. You getting that real work. And when you get in there, you, you working. Come on, man. Y'all don't play. Don't play this. Just like Dante Wilder. He, he played his arrogance. And that's, that's, that's him being a dark skin nigga. That's dark skin nigga. Dark skin conceited niggas, though, they just the opposite of a light skin nigga. They just don't. The arrogance. You can't put on all this up top body mass with no bottom, with no foundation. And you ain't even need that for that fight. You not Tyson Fury out at 213. Nobody in your camp should, should have been telling you to be lifting like that. Everything is cross country fitness, strengthening it. High spawn. We working to be, to keep our feet moving. Throwing 50 plus punches around. That's it. That two years that you had enough to get that foundation right. Cause when your legs strong, you more sturdy on your feet. You ain't you you ain't build the foundation. You was already you already had sloppy feet. So now imagine putting on so much body mass and throwing a power punch. It's gonna knock you off balance. You throwing all this new shit up top. Come on. That second fight, you was fucking. I could be wrong, but I'ma call it how I see it. I'ma call, I'ma call it how I see it. That good, that good old fool. I know what happened. You didn't need to gain no weight. And for people to say, and for people to say, yeah, he had to put on muscle and weight because that big... Man, get out of here. Get out of here. That nigga always going to be bigger than him. No matter how big he get, that nigga always going to be bigger than him. And every time he lean on him, it's going to be the same effect. This Cannabis Reactions. I'm Ali Rashid. Show me some love. Hit that like and subscribe. You can leave a comment. I'm open to any conversation about boxing.